Look, even the thought of any man can go where Rasulullah went. Allah Hazrat Fazil Barayi Rahmatullahi Taala says, "Ye tu ye koja se bahar to kya ke arshe ola bi dur raha." Ye tu ye koja Musa Ali Salam his mirage was on the tour. Some went to the extent of the sepah the sun, and Allah Hazrat went beyond the lama kan in the lama kan beyond the arsh. Allah Hazrat says, "Our Prophet Ali Salam was some went beyond the arsh." Allah Hazrat says, "Ye tu ye koja se bahar to kya ke arshe ola bi dur raha jehak se bara." وصال ملا یہ رفعت شان تمہارے لیے علامہ اقبال the great thinker of the east great philosopher great writer great lover of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم he says لو بھی تو قلم بھی تو تیرا وجود الکتاب سے سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ
the Prophet Ali Salatu was salam is the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Quran Majid says, Kad anzalna ilaykum zikran rasoola. Kad anzalna ilaykum zikran rasoola. Allah says, I have sent down to you a zikr. And who is that zikr? That zikr is the Rasul of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Quran is telling you, Rasulullah is zikrullah. One of the names of the Prophet is Zikrullah. And Allah says, Allah says in Hadith al Qudsi, Allah says in Hadith al Qudsi, addressing the Prophet, Man Zakaraka Zakarani. Oh beloved, he who mentions you actually mentions me. Remembers me. He who obeys you obeys me. He who loves you loves me. He who does your ta'at does my ta'at. Shirk e thare jis pe taazi ne habib us bure mazhab pe lanat ki jiye. This is the requirement of your love for the Prophet that you mention him. You proclaim his praise. You tell the dunya of the great ni'mat that Allah gave you in the form of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Doesn't the Quran say, Uzkuru ni'mat Allahi alaykum? Quran tells you this many times. Quran says, Mention the bounty of Allah upon you. Whatever ni'mat Allah gives you, my brothers and sisters, Allah says, Uzkuru, mention it, remember it, celebrate it. Doesn't the Quran say, Uzkuru, Uzkuru ni'mat Allah alaykum? Thank Allah for the bounties that He has showered upon you. Doesn't the Quran say, Wa amma bi ni'mati rabbika fahadis? Moses. You know who Moses is? 
قليم الله مايتي مسجد الله تعالى دايركتلي سبوك تو الله صاحب الكتاب صاحب التوراة كريم كريم نبي بولو العظم رسول داس موسى but look how great our nabi is how great our nabi is far greater than musa far greater than isa far greater than any nabi our nabi says if musa alayhi salam was physically on the earth today he would have no choice but to follow in my footsteps that's how great our nabi is so be be proud of yourself Allah made you of the Ummah of Rasulullah. What more could you ask for? Our Nabi is He, the Isa Alayhi Salam, Isa Alayhi Salam, Kalimatullah, Ruhullah, Ulul Azhar Rasul. He used to say, Ya Allah, if only you had made me from the Ummah of Rasulullah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and I would have the honor of tying the laces of the sandals of Rasulullah. That's how great our Nabi is. Nabis before him have this desire. Nabis before him mentioned his Milad Sharif. Are you with me? I can't hear Subhanallah. Nabis before him talked about his coming. Doesn't the Quran say Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number one to nine? Rabbana wa baasfihim Rasulam minhum yadlu alayhim ayatika wa yuhallimuhum al-kitaba wal-hikmata wa yuzakkihim innaka anta al-aziz al-hakim Three thousand years before our Nabi was born Dua for his coming is made His father Ibrahim His father Ismail They are making dua for his coming to the dunya Three thousand years before he came his, his birth, his milad, his desert, his coming is mentioned by Anbiya al -Kiram. Doesn't the Quran say in Surah Al-Saf, Surah number 61, verse number 6, Wa is qala Isa ibn Maryam, Ya Bani Israel, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum, Musaddiqat lima bayna yadayya min al-Tawrah, Wa mubashiram bi Rasulin, Yati min baad ismahu, Ahmad Six hundred years before he born. How many years? Today some Muslims feel uneasy when you talk about Milad. When you celebrate Milad, they question it. What is this? Where it come from? Milad? Talking about it? It is the Sunnah of Allah. Talking about Milad? It is the Sunnah of Anbiya. Speaking about Milad? The way of the Sahaba Ikram. Celebrating Milad, the practice of Muslims of the last 1400 years. Doesn't Isa alayhi salam say? Doesn't Isa alayhi salam say? I have come to give you the glad tidings. O oh people, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum O Banu Israel, I have only been sent for your guidance. Only for the guidance of Banu Israel. And I have given you very fine what came before me in the form of Torah Shari. I made the speak of that. And then he says, Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Oh people, oh Banu Israel, I give you glad tidings. Look at the Milad Kaha Se Aayi Kyu Manate Ho? Aray Mere Nabi Paida Nahi Huwe? उनकी आमद का जिक्र हम किया है जरान कर रहे हैं। सुबहानअल्लाह उनकी विलादत का जिक्र किया जा रहा है, कुरान में किया जा रहा है, हदीस में किया जा रहा है, साहबा किया करते थे। मुबाशिरन, pick up the surah 61 verse number six. If you don't find this verse in the Quran, then come to me and speak to me. Alhamdulillah, I am responsible for what I say. मुबाशिरन, I give you good news. I give you glad tidings of what? The Rasul of the greatest Rasul of the greatest Rasul. the Rasul in Yati. He will come. Mimbadi after me. Is Mahu. His name is Ahmad. What more do you do? What more proof do we want from Milad Sharif? Does the Quran say the words that I recited in my khutbah? 
सूरा मरियम सूरा नंबर 19 वर्स नंबर 15 हजरत अल्लाह सुभानहु व तआला स्पीक्स अबाउट द मिलाद ऑफ याहिया अलैहि सलाम अल्लाह स्पीक्स अबाउट द मिलाद ऑफ याहिया अल्लाह सेस पिक अप द कुरान अगेन व सलाम अलैहि यौम वलिदा पीस बी ऑन याहिया द डे ही वाज बोर्न इज अल्लाह स्पीक अबाउट मिलाद
the end. No more can be said. Another says, Sare achho se achha samajiye jise hai us achche se achha hamara nabi. Sare uncho se uncha samajiye jise hai us uncho se uncha hamara nabi. Hamara nabi. Sab se aula wala hamara nabi. Sab se baana wala hamara nabi. So, Alhamdulillah, we are fortunate. All of us here on the table, all of you brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, my dear mothers, my dear fathers, sons and daughters, we are so fortunate, we are so blessed, we are so honored. Allah accepted us to come in this family. Count yourself lucky. Not everybody gets to come in these pure mahfils. These are blessed mahfil. Chosen, selected gatherings. When Allah wanted to speak about the coming of Rasulullah, Allah mentions in the Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, Allah only gathered the souls of the Nabis. Not everybody was welcome. When Allah wanted to speak about his Rabubiyya, the Quran says, Allah gathered the souls of all people, good and the bad, Muslims, non-Muslims. Note this point. When Allah wants to speak about His own Rabu Biyat, His being the Lord of the creation, Allah says, Where is Akhaza Rabbuka min bani Adama min zuhurihim? All souls were gathered, the good and the bad, the Muslims, non Muslims, everybody welcome. But when Allah wanted to speak about the Milad of Rasulullah, the coming of Rasulullah, the base of Rasulullah, Quran says, Wa is akhazallahu misaqan nabiyyina lama ataytukum min kitabin wa hikmatin summa jaaakum rasul. Know the difference? I'm not telling you stories. I'm not quoting you even a hadith that you can question like some people like to do. These are verses of the Quran al-Majeed. Quran al-Majeed says, when Allah wanted to mention the coming of Rasulullah, He only gathered the souls of Anbiya e Kiram. Only Anbiya. Not even the Sahaba souls were present. Not even the souls of the Awliya were present. No other soul. Only the Anbiya e Kiram. And on the occasion of mentioning the coming of Rasulullah, this was before mankind existed. Subhanallah. <laughs> तो कुछ न था वो जो न हो तो कुछ न हो जान है वो जहान की जान है तो जहान है If it wasn't for the prophet If it wasn't for the prophet Shah Abdul Haq Muhaddis-e Dehrwi rahmatullah ta'ala alayhi in his Madarij al-Nubuwwat Sharif he mentions that Allah said to the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam on the night of Miraj Oh beloved, if it wasn't for you, I would not have created the creation. I would not even have declared my Rabubiyyat. If it wasn't for you, I would not have declared my Rabubiyyat. Yes, I know this. Ahadis are not in Bukhari Sharif. But who tells you the hadith has to be in Bukhari Sharif? Who says this? Where did this criterion come from? Great ulama have mentioned this hadith. Great Sufiya. Everyone looks up to them, Alhamdulillah. Shah Abdul Haq Muhaddis al-Dilwi is that personality from the Indian subcontinent. Every single Muslim pays tribute to this great man. And he says that is what Allah said to the Prophet on the night of Miraj. Hmm? So we are fortunate, my brothers and sisters. Mashallah, I can see Haji Yaqub Ali Sahib at the back. Hmm? Who has invited me, his team. Mohdram. Haji Ismail Muhammad Sahib. The entire team, I am very grateful. Alhamdulillah. I love to speak about Rasulullah. You see my voice is opening up now? When I started? This is Karam from Madina Sharif. This is Ata from Madina Sharif. Because when you have it here, and everything comes to your hand. It has to come from here. Love of Rasulullah has to be here. Not only here, 
Hmm? On the one hand, you say you love him, and then you question about his greatness, about his authority, about the shan and shokat that Allah has given him. Then you question, you ask, is he trying to celebrate with love? Allah says in the Quran, Surah Yunus, Qul, Be fadlillahi, wa be rahmatihi, fa be zalika, fal yafrahu. I know these ayat were revealed about the Quran and Majid, but generally Allah says, when Allah gives you his fadl, when Allah gives you his rahmat, Allah says, fal yafrahu, be happy. Subhanallah. Be happy. Allah. If Allah gives you fadl, if Allah gives you rahmat, Allah says, Fal yaf rahu khushi manao. Mumino khushiya manao kamli wala kya? Mumino khushiya manao kamli wala kya? Now, is the Prophet not Fadlullah? Is he not the father of Allah? Quran says in Surah Al-Azab, Inna arsalna ka shahidam wa mubashiram wa nadira wa ta'ayyan ila Allahi bi idnihi wa sirajam munira wa bashiril mu'minina bi anna lahum min Allahi fadlan kabira He is not only a fadl of Allah, Allah says he is fadlan kabira Very, very, very big fadl of Allah Doesn't the Quran say وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We have not sent you but as a mercy for the creation. Rasulullah, Quran says his rahmat. Rasulullah, Quran says his father. And the same Quran says, when you get rahmat of Allah, when you get father of Allah, فَلْيَفْرَهُ بِيَحْبِي Quran is saying, I hope I, I hope I'm getting through. I know you don't like this kind of speeches, you like very simple, smooth, silence, I, I, I can't do those. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm not used to those. I like to speak my mind, I like to speak my heart, my feelings. You know, this is our Nabi, our Rasul. You should be happy. Quran says, when Rasul comes, Father comes, Rahmat comes, Khushi manaya karo. Dhamna manaya karo. Chup na jaya karo. Janaza na nikala karo apna. Khushiya manaya karo. Kya karo? Khushiya mu'minu, khushiya manao, kamli wala a gaya. Subhanallah. Khushiya kaun manata hai? Dakar manna allahu ala al-mu'mini. Subhanallah. This ihsan of Allah was on the believers. Quran says, Dakar manna allahu ala al-mu'mini. Mu'mini na izba safeen rasoola. So Alhamdulillah, the Qibla Mufti Sahib, our Imam Sahib, our Honorable Chairman Sahib, and all the Muqtadis of this Masjid, I wholeheartedly congratulate you. Because this is, Alhamdulillah, a beautiful means of pleasing Allah. Beautiful means of pleasing His Habib. Mentioning the Prophet is mentioning Allah. Speaking of the Prophet is speaking about Allah. Honoring the Prophet is honoring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is Rabbul Alameen and our Nabi is Rahmatul Lil Alameen. So why should you be upset? Why should you question these celebrations? The asl of Milad is in Quran and Hadith. That's origin. I've cited many many ayat already alhamdulillah. Asl is there. Now the question is how do you go about it? Hayat. Your own method of celebrating. You know now, for example, we are in the 21st century. This is Trinidad, was the city, Prince Town, Prince's Town. So you celebrate according to your time. Some people say, oh, show us, where did the Prophet celebrate? Where did the Sahaba celebrate? Tabein, when did they celebrate? First of all, this argument itself is not correct. There is no such argument in Islam that if the Prophet or the Sahaba did not do something, you can't do it. Everything is permissible as long as it is in the boundaries of Islam. Hazrat Sayyidina Faruq Azam said about Tarawi Ne'matil Bidato Hazihi. What a great innovation this is. So some people say, no, every innovation is wrong. Yes, 
Alhamdulillah, we also accept that hadith. That be that which is against Islam, which is which is not good for the Muslims. Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Hadith in Muslim Sharif, Man sanna fil Islam e sunnatan hasanatan falahu ajroha wa ajro man amela beha. I can't hear you. Allah. Prophet is saying, Whoever initiates in Islam a good practice, whoever initiates in Islam a good practice, Allah will reward him. Allah, Allah will? Allah will? But not only reward him, but Amela, he will reward every person who does that sawab after him. That piety after him. And all their sawab collectively will be given to the man who initiated that, initiated that new thing. Alhamdulillah, we are Sunnis. We are Ahlus Sunnah wa Jama'ah. And the Prophet said, My Ummah will never gather on misguidance. The Prophet said, Wallahi, Bukhari Sharif, Wallahi, Ma akhafu alaykum an tushrikhu baadi. By God, I swear, I do not fear for you that you will be indulged in shirk after me. Some people say shirk. The Prophet is saying, I don't fear that you will be doing shirk after me. The Prophet is saying, I don't fear that. You will get up to other no goods. You will be indulged in the dunya. You will run after dunya. And we are all doing that. Me and you, all of us. But the Prophet said, Ma akhafu alaykum an tushriku baadi. I do not fear that after me, as a nation, as a ummah, you will generally indulge in shirk. So celebrating Milad is uprooting shirk. It's not shirk, it's uprooting. Why? You may say, why? Because when we say Milad, Milad means birth. Milad means birth. birth. Time or place. Ya Alhamdulillah Mufti Sabidas. If I'm wrong, you will correct me. Milad means birth. birth. So when you say the Prophet was born, he was born, shirk finish. He is born. Allah is Lam Yalid wa Lam Yulad. He was not born and none is born of him. So how can you say this is shirk? Milad Sharif actually is uprooting the evil of shirk. When you say he was born, that means he is makhluk. He is creation. He is in need of Allah. Allah is independent. Muhammad Rasulullah needs Allah. You know why the Jews today regard Isa as son of God? Because they saw his powers. They saw his mojizah. They saw that this man, Jesus, he can bring the dead back to life. So they thought he must have something to do with divinity. He is son of God. They started believing in trinity. Our Nabi, far greater than Isa. Far greater than Isa alayhi salam. Hey Nabi Isa se ja bakshi nirali. Haath mein sang reze paate hain shiri makali haath mein. Isa gave life to the dead human beings. Our Nabi gave the ability of speech to pebbles. Pebbles go. Abu Lahab comes and his hand like this. He says, Muhammad, tell me what I have in my hand. The Prophet says, do you want me to tell you? Or do you want the things in your hands to tell you who I am? Allah! How great your Nabi is? There are Muslims who say he was like us. There are Muslims who say he was like us. That's the only ayat they can study in the Quran. They don't study the Quran also says That's also in the Quran. The Quran also says in the Quran also says in the Quran also says in the Quran also says Quran also says in the 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 Quran also says in Bashar to wo zarur hai, magar hai afzalul bashar. He is human, yes, but he is the greatest of all humans. There is, if you are Sunni, there is no flaw, no fault, no defect, no shortcoming, no imperfection in the person of Muhammad Rasulullah. I can't understand those Muslims 
On the one hand, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, five times a day they ran to the masjid. And they also say he was like us. He was just a human being. He was like a postman. That's what they say. He was a postman. He came, he gave me the message and it's gone. He's finished now. They say he doesn't know what's behind the wall. They say respect him like you respect your elder brother. What kind of Islam is this? Allah Azza Fazil Barayi says, Zikr roke, fazl kaate, naqs ka joya rahe, phir kahe mardak ke humat rasul daaki. What kind of Islam is this? They say he became a Nabi at 14. We believe Alhamdulillah, he was Nabi before the creation of any human being. Even before Adam Islam was created, our Nabi was a Nabi. That's why when he came to this dunya, he went into sajda. That's why he fell into sajda. He prayed Allah and he prayed for me and you. Allah says, Jo na bula ham gharibon ko raza, yaad uski apni adat ki jiye. We love the Prophet? Do we love the Prophet? Should we love the Prophet? Allah created the Prophet? Perfect! Perfect! Wherever you see any Muslim, don't look at who he is. He could be the greatest Bolvi Sahib of the time. But if he says, oh, I, uh, the Prophet was there. <laughs> then they get lost. <laughs> get rid of them. Yeah. Muhammadur Rasulullah, his love is the essence of Iman. Yeah. His honor, his izzat, that is the foundation of our deen. Yeah. Without the love of Rasulullah, no namaz is of any help. No hajj is any good. No zakat is rewardable. No good deed Allah will pay you, repay you for why? Because the foundation is love of Allah, love of Rasulullah. Quran says in Surah Al Fat, Inna Sallaka Shahida wa Mubashida wa Nadira, Leto Minu Billahi wa Rasulihi wa Tuazziru wa Tuwakiru wa Tusabbihu Bukratu wa Asila. Allah says, O oh beloved, we have sent you as a witness. As one who gives good news, as one who warns of the hereafter, and then Allah says, So that, O oh people, you believe in Allah and His Rasul. Number one. What's number one? Believe Quran says this, Surah Al Fat, verse number eight and nine. Quran says, First and foremost, you must believe. What is belief? Iman. Billahi wa Rasulim. And then Allah says, and you honor and you respect the Prophet. What's that number two? Tazi. Tazi. Tawki. Adab. Ihtiram. Insab. Love for the Prophet. And then Allah says, At number three, Allah says that you worship Allah day and night. Look at the order. Iman. Number two, Tazim, and number three, Ibadat. Ibadat comes at number three. Ibadat comes at number three. What comes at number two? Tazim. What to ask the Ruho? What to want the Ruho? I am reading the Quran too. Say Subhanallah. This Ibadat, Namaz, Roza, Hajj, Zakat, no good if you don't have Iman. No good if you don't have Tazim and Tawki. Which is at number three. You have to have the first two for number three to count. Number three doesn't apply if you don't have the first two. Even the second one doesn't apply if you don't have the first one. First one is Iman. Let go menu, Bidlahi, Barasuli. Sabse Zaruri Kam kya hai? Allah uske Rasul par Iman dao. Iman de aye, Bil Quran kata hai, Nabi ki Tazim o Tawkir karo. Phir Quran kata hai, फिर अल्लाह की तस्बीह और तामीद शुभ शाम बयान की। फिर नमाज़ पढ़ो, फिर आज करो, फिर दावत दो, फिर तबलीक करो, फिर नेकी की तरफ बुलाओ। बहुत अच्छी बात है, हम्दुलिल्लाह। But before that comes ईमान, ताज़ीन तो होगी। So अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह, I want to conclude, I want to go on. In fact, I want to go on, but I can see, अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह, you brothers sisters have to go to work tomorrow morning. But what better time can we have, Allah? But then the Majlis of Rasulullah, the Zikr of Rasulullah.
every minute you are spending here is ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not going to go to waste inshallah. You will see the result in the hereafter. And Allah will reward you, bless you. Hmm? With the sabah, with the rida, with the ridwan of Allah that you will see in the hereafter. Hmm? Then you will see how great this mahfid was. How great it is the means of pleasure of Allah. So we love the Prophet I would conclude that brothers and sisters, when we make this claim and that includes me first and foremost, we have to show that in practice. It's very easy for me to stand here for two hours and speak about how great he was. And we love him. He's our Nabi. He's our... But if I don't follow him, I'm a hypocrite. I'm a munafiq. I'm a liar. And if that's the case with you, same applies to you. So if I and you have true love, then that this will come automatically. Simple as that. Because anybody you love, you want to please them. Don't you? If you love somebody, you want to keep them happy. You want to keep them pleased. You want to be with them. You want to see them day and night. So we love Allah. We love Rasulullah. The only way to show this love. If our love for Allah and His Habib was true, if we had true love, then we would definitely obey. Why? Because it is the nature of love that a lover wants to please and keep happy his beloved. Our beloved is Allah. Our beloved is Rasulullah. Quran says, Kul in kum tum tuhibbun Allah fattabiruni. Surah Al-Imran. O people, if you truly love Allah, there's only one way to show it. Only one route, only one path, only one road. And what is that? Fattabiruni. You must follow in my footsteps. That's the only way to Allah. There is no other way to Allah now. After the coming of Rasulullah, you cannot follow Musa Islam. You cannot follow Isa Islam. You cannot follow the teachings of Ibrahim. Yes, they were great in their own times. But now, the greatest has come. The greatest of them all has come to us, Alhamdulillah. So we have to show that love and ittiba. Itaat. Man yudhi Rasulah faqad ata Allah. He who obeys the messenger has obeyed Allah. Subhanallah. Look at this verse of the Quran. He who obeys has obeyed Allah. So humble request from your younger brother, elder brother, whatever you think of me. We have to show this in practice. That's where we lack as Sunnis. That's where we need to improve. That's where we need to better ourselves. Alhamdulillah, our Akidah, 100% good. Alhamdulillah. No fault in Akidah. But yes, there are shortcomings in Amal. And Akidah is before Amal. Akidah is before? Amal. Quran, I just cited the Quran to you. Akidah is before? Amal. La tajidu qawman yu'minuna billah wal yawmil akhir yuwaaduna man haad Allah wa Rasulah. Allah says, those who are true believers, they don't, believe, they don't befriend those who are enemies of Allah and His Rasul. Those who are enemies of Allah and His Rasul, those who say there are faults in Allah, there are faults in Rasulullah, true Muslims do not befriend them. They keep away from them. Whether they are their parents, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, whatever. If they don't love Allah and His Rasul, you are not to be with them. Muslim Sharif Hadith says, La yudil iyyakum wa iyyahum, la yudil lunakum wa la yafdilunakum. You must stay away from those who have bad aqidah and you must keep them away from you. Let them not mislead you. Let them not put you into fitna. Be very careful who you associate with, who you like to be with. Be with those who hold Allah and His Rasul, especially Rasulullah, in the highest regard. Yahan aap dekhe na, thoda bhoot nazar aata hai, thoda hesitant hai, 
You mentioned the greatness of Rasulullah and there is Then there's something wrong inside here. Fi kulubihim maradun. Fazadahumullahu marada. Like if you see somebody, when you speak about the greatness of Rasulullah, he, he smiles, he's happy, he's joyous, then he's one of you. Simple pehchaan. Simple way to know. If he's happy, he's one of you. And if he's... Uh, no, 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 no. He like this. You're over praising it, you're over doing it. Then there's something wrong here. You know? Important for me and you. We must follow the Prophet. Ittiba, itaat of Rasulullah is a must for each and every one of us. That is the message Allah's Rasul brought to us. That's why he came in the form of a human being. The most example, beautiful example for each and every one of us is in the life of the Messenger of Allah. And so true Mahabbat, if I have it, if you have it, we will try to imitate. We will try to follow. We will try to dress like the Prophet. You try to look like the Prophet, you try, try to walk like the Prophet, you try to sit like the Prophet, talk like the Prophet, eat like the Prophet, sleep like the Prophet. If there was true love, so there's a dire need for Tali education. Most of us don't even know much about the Prophet. How are you going to emulate him? How are you going to apply Sira? It's Uswa if you don't know. So you need to learn. The more you learn, that's the beauty of Rasulullah. The more you learn about him, the more you will love him. Because that's how great Allah made him. May Allah Ta'ala accept our gathering. May Allah reward the Imam Sahib of the Masjid, the Intizamiya, the President, and all the members of Asya, Kibla Mufti Sahib. This is my last speech for this tour of Trinidad, inshallah. If Allah willing, we will see you again. Wa akhir dawana, alhamdulillahi rabbil